Here's a quadrilateral. How do we find the sum of angles of this quadrilateral? Let's name the quadrilateral first. Let's call it A, B, C, D. We have to find the sum of angles of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. It's simple. The sum of angles is the measure of angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D. Yes, that's correct. But we haven't been given any of the measures. Now what? What do we do next? Since we are familiar with triangles, let us break the figure into two triangles. Let's join points A and C like this. But wait, how does this help us? Let's try to write the sum in a different way. Angle A will be the sum of these two angles. It means angle A can be written as angle DAC plus angle CAB. Angle B is not split, so we write it as is. Angle C will equal the sum of these two angles. It can be written as angle BCA plus angle ACD. The angle D is written as is. Do you think we're getting closer to the answer? Yes, you can now see that we can join the angles of each triangle together. These three angles belong to this triangle and these three belong to this one. We can write the first group as angle DAC plus angle ACD plus angle D. It is the sum of the angles of triangle ACD. And the second group can be written as angle BCA plus angle B plus angle CAB. And since the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, this expression will equal 180 degrees and this expression as well will equal 180 degrees. The sum equals 360 degrees. So the sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral equals 360 degrees.